I agree with so much of it. But just bringing it back to the teacher perspective, just bringing it back to the boots mm. on the ground here, like, yeah. like wh- what? How do we? I like I love. Like, I'm so in agreement that yeah, we've got to make the rules clear. We have to do this. We have yeah. to stand our ground. But what do you do when you are doing your best to stand your ground? The toilets are getting smashed. There's there's damage to the school building. The local authority is shouting that you can't exclude these kids. You can't do this. You can't do that. And then you've got parents that won't engage. And then you end up in this in this just this loop of of managed moves and students coming back round and failed, mm. you know, failed suspensions and and you know because you've got this. It, it's literally like one of those horror film rooms where the walls are coming in, and we. Th- you know the SLT, like my word, I take my hat off to them, but yeah, but but they are capped. They're limited in what they can do. It's I, you know, yeah. I worked in a school in an exceptionally deprived area, and the fact of the matter is, you can put your foot down all you want, but these parents, you know, some of these parents and some of some of these situations, it doesn't work. And then in that instance, what then? What then? Because the next step in standing your ground. If, if a student is consistently breaking the rules, consistently not following expectations, what do you do? Because we're not allowed to exclude. We're not allowed to, to, to you know, there is limits on that.